Hey everybody, Alvy for Tech Dissected here, and I've got an unboxing video for you today. I got a hold of the Blue Nessie USB microphone. Thanks mom, birthday present. So let's take a look at it, let's open it up and see what's inside. Alright everybody, here it is, the Blue Nessie USB microphone. Now sadly this video or this uh, unboxing video will not be using that microphone because it's in there. So we'll take a look at it and so hopefully some of the reviews that we do later, including one for this thing here, will be using the Nessie microphone so we can check it out and see how it sounds. But let's go ahead and look and see what we've got here. Um, just looking at it off the top of the box there, um, it just kind of looks cool. It reminds me of the old um, radio from like the 30s, 40s. Um, that type of a microphone. So it's kind of cool looking, but you can use it for uh, instruments or vocals, which of course I'll be using vocals here. Let's look at some of the features here in case you're unfamiliar with the Blue Nessie microphone. Real quick here, it's got a built-in pop filter, so you won't have to have to rock the microphone with the pantyhose. Uh, that'll make Beastie Boys proud. It does have a custom tuned cardioid, cardioid condenser capsule which for the audio files that should make a lot of sense for you. And it uh, does have an internal shock now, which does matter a lot. You don't realize how much you move your hands and hit the, t hit the desk or table when you're talking. The instant mute here is a touch button there. Uh, there is a headphone volume. I'm excited about that because it's actually a knob. You're going to twist that. And then uh, it does have a LED mute status indicator, a little sensor there. Uh, the adjustable head here does come out and it is adjustable and positionable. And there's a headphone output, it's a zero latency output, uh, which is important if you're trying to monitor your mix kind of on the fly. Uh, you don't want that delay, which uh, some microphones can do. It does have three recording modes. One will be for voice, one will be for music, and then it'll have one that has no effects or no uh, pre-production stuff done. So if you've got any of your fancy tools, you can do that uh, in your house. Um, and then it can go to Mac or PC. And it has an ad adaptive studio processing on board, which is fancy words for it does things. All right, so we open it up here, and yes, it is presented very nice. And this is the first time I've opened it, so you'll see uh, exactly kind of what I see here. I don't know what we're looking at inside, so if I find any tape or anything like that. All right, first thing we get, ooh, wow, a booklet. Don't see those much anymore. Usually it's all digital, so. Um, telling you how good it is telling what you can do with it, how great it is, where you can go find more information. Uh, and also we have it in multiple languages. Uh, I won't bore you with the details, just know that you can speak into this microphone in as many languages as you prefer. All right, let's get into this thing, what we're trying to do here. All right, all right. So of course we're greeted with a cardboard box around, an empty cardboard box around a styrofoam casing. So this is not the, exactly the most green product in the world. It does have a pretty large carbon footprint if you care. Um, but the styrofoam packaging is imprinted with a Nessie blue. So that's kind of nice. I like the little embossing there. Um, so little touches like this that let me know opening a product is going to be a little nicer on the inside than just some cheapo. And it is custom formed and all that, custom molded. So we have, as to be expected, a USB cord and cable. We'll open that up. And it's just a normal, what you would expect, uh, USB micro on one side and then regular old USB on the other. This end will go into your computer. This end will go into your microphone. And uh, for what it's worth, it's regular Android charging style. So uh, we may do a little test on that to see if the longer cable will charge my phone. So we'll set that in here as well. And then of course inside is the microphone. Now first feeling this, it has about the weight you'd expect. It's not exactly plastic, it's not exactly metal. Probably a combination of the two. And so let's see how it feels on the inside. It does not feel cheap at all for what it's worth. Um, getting in there, honestly it, uh, it feels and looks pretty cool. Um, I like it. My concern here, before I even mess with it, is the knob here. This is the volume knob, and this is the one that's going to change the gain volume. And I was worried that that might feel cheap. Oh, no, no, it feels almost like it's on a glass slider, um, if you're familiar. And it does have a little, a little catch there right in the middle for dead center. Um, so you can tell exactly where you are on the slide. It goes all the way up, 
to all the way down. And it does have a little catch in the middle. And it feels like it's, it's actually solid, sturdy, and uh, will hold its hold very well. Um, I've dealt with a lot of microphones and a lot of sliders like this, and a lot of times they cheapen. And uh, what happens is as you move it, they'll be static, and then they won't ever find a good spot uh, because they kinda, they're so touchy, because they're so cheap, they're so light. This right here, that's your, uh, that's your mute button. And this is touch, no button, just touch it which will be nice uh, if you've ever dealt with these before. When you touch a push button, the click comes through the microphone. Obviously, when you're doing some microphone and recording, you don't want that. So you are going to want to touch rather than click it. So I like that. That's nice. Back over here, this is where we've got our, our modes, uh, voice, music, and no effects. Um, so that'll, that'll be nice to get into. I'll go through all this stuff a little more on our full extensive review that I'll show a little bit later once I've had time to play with it. There's your uh, headphone jack there for earbuds. There's your USB jack to go to your computer. And then the serpentine head which does come out. It does make it positional up and down. Not left and right. If you don't want to go left and right, you got to twist the whole unit. It doesn't spin, just goes up and down and in and out rather. If that makes any sense to you. There we go, it's a better angle on it. So it goes up and down and then in and out. So you can get it just the right positioning that you want it. Again, it doesn't twist, it doesn't go left and right. If you want to do that, just spin the whole product. And that's it by itself. Not a lot in here. You got your collateral materials there, some information on how to get set up and some more promotional material from Blue. You got the microphone itself and the cable to connect it to your computer. Rather simple, rather rather compact. It does have a good weight to it if you want to know that. So it does feel like it's sturdy. More of the weight's in the bottom and the base, so I imagine that's where all the stuff is. But there is a pop screen in there, as well as all the microphone goodies inside that bubble inside that ball there. So uh, as you pull it out, you can see the cabling there. Uh, hopefully that doesn't become an issue, but again, there will be a full review later. But that's the unboxing for the Blue Nessie USB microphone. Well, that's our unboxing of the Blue Nessie USB microphone. That's not our full video review. That'll be coming a little later after I've had time to get my hands dirty with it, find out how good this thing is. But thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click subscribe and check out some of our other videos while you're here. We'll see you next time.